Hi, boys. <laughs> Sorry I'm a little late. Can you hear me? Can you see me? It's time to get back in action. Um, I'm actually, I, I, the reason I was running late is I decided to try and do a photo shoot of spicy content and I was running late from said photo shoot with said photographer and I got stuck in traffic on the way home. So I am truly just in the door, haven't even eaten dinner yet, but that shouldn't be a problem because you guys all insist, you insist that we are very close to the end, which means we should probably be able to finish this case today and see what in the world is going on with Metal Jesus. He's accusing us of being a lying lawyer because we are accusing him of either stealing the Founder's Orb or letting the Founder's Orb get stolen. Basically, we confirmed that Pat Roll was the thief who stole the box, but he was pissed off because he knew that the box was empty because he knows the weight of the box and he accused Albie of stealing the contents inside the box, but we think it was this guy. How are we gonna prove it? I don't know. Um, let me get my hellos in order. Hunter Cross, Jerio, Jero, Jero, Dogface, Jacob Welsh, Cosmetology Corner, uh, J Dove, Entry Hazard. It's good to see all of your bright and shining faces. Um, yeah, so, so chat, I bet against you. Respectfully, I bet against you because you guys always tell me, oh, it's only gonna be another 10 to 15 minutes. And then it never is. So if you guys were right, if we're about to finish this case in about five minutes today, I will start the next case, all right? I, I, will, I will do it with egg on my face for not having believed in you guys. I just, I don't know. I feel like we've got at least, uh, we, we have a whole nother testimony we have to unpack. Let's start it right away because I already did actually knock off 10 minutes of time by being late today. <laughs> but we should be fine with that, all right? All right, let me adjust, let me adjust my lighting. I, I, I probably, probably won't be satisfied with it either way, but I digress. <clears throat> Let's do it. Line lawyer. Oh God, I forgot. <laughs> this man's about to sing to us. All right, chat, here we go. <clears throat> Steal the Founders or me, I did it! This lying lawyer insults no no limit! All this time I guarded the orb faithfully! Sacred duty to the Holy Mother, easy to see! Hands on clean, the accused did the deed! Forced open the box, no key did he need! Oh my god. Lying lawyer, condemn him to hell! Great. Okay. Well, took me about three whole minutes to break my voice in, so that's fantastic. <laughs> Glad we all caught up for that. Oh. It won't be a day too soon when I get to stop talking to this guy. So chat, you know what? I won't be mad if this is the last cross-examination. All right. We've now heard from both sides. Either the treasure box was forced open by the accused as the witness claims. Or Mr. Understanded had opened it. As the defense claims. Defense. This is your last chance to cross-examine the witness. Yes, your majesty. If you are unable to prove your assertions by the end of this cross-examination... Then the DC Act will come into play, and both you and the accused will lose your lives. I understand. Life or death, it all comes down to this. Mr. Wright! Luke? I I'm sorry, don't worry, Albie. Weird, deja vu. I feel like I've met someone like this kid in a past life. I'm here to defend you, Albie. I promise, everything's gonna be alright. Would this face lie to you? Thank you! I believe in you, Mr. Wright! 
I know you can win this for us! And after we win, we can go see Miss Maya together! It's a deal, kid. I can't let all be down. I have to win this trial. Somehow, I have to prove that only Andestanden could have stolen the treasure. Do your worst, lawyer trash! This is your requiem! The last song you'll ever hear on this mortal coil. Great. Alright, as long as I don't have to sing anymore, let's uh, pick apart this testimony. I look ripe like a tomato today. Alright, steal the Founder's Orb. Me, I did it. No, the lying lawyer's insult to no limit. Alright, well, let's keep pressing until we find something that we can throw at this guy. But the argument that the orb was already gone before the murder fits all of the facts. Hm. It's no use even talking to you. Where's your proof I stole the orb, huh? Lawyer trash. He's kind of right. I don't have any proof. Yet! I'll find some, eventually. Right. All this time I guarded the orb faithfully, sacred duty to the Holy Mother, easy to see. Hold it! Okay, what does that mean? Your sacred duty, huh? The problem with that is, I don't really think that you're a true believer. I think you're an imposter. Why you? How dare you question my faith! That's downright insulting! I'm not trying to insult you, but I can't suspend my logic either. You wormed your way into the temple with the intent of stealing the treasure, didn't you? I've had about all the insults I can take out of you, lawyer scum! But you're the one who can open the treasure box! You just keep on arguing the same old lie! I sing the truth, hear my battle cry! Yikes. Alright, hands unclean, the accused did the deed, forced the box open, no key did he need. How do you figure that? The defendant didn't force the box open. That's a lie. In fact, you're the one who opened it! Isn't that right? Alright, we're just kind of throwing out baseless accusations, Phoenix. We need evidence! Lock was busted on account of it being forced open. Oh yeah, it was. Well, there's your proof right there! Ugh! Alright, score one for the metalhead. Look! If the accused really did try to force his way into the box... Then how do you explain why the lock was busted and wouldn't open up for you? Hmm. How do I explain why the box wouldn't unlock earlier? Maybe there's... a different key or a different way to open it. Alright, going against the key mechanism, maybe there's a secret way to open it? Well, uh... Maybe there's another way to open the box. Huh? What are you talking about? There's a secret trick to opening it. To protect its contents from being stolen. Probably. I'm Phoenix Wright, and I'm a master of Kureanism techniques. And you're the only one who knows how it works, isn't that right? Are you for real? You've been watching too many movies, lawyer man. Ah, so you're one of those tourists. Honestly, Mr. Wright, did you come expecting magic and mystery around every corner? I mean, you guys literally made me watch a vision from the dead earlier this trial. What the fuck do you mean? Also, you're a chief prosecutor. I feel like magic is the only possible explanation for that. I'll have you no defense. The kingdom of Kurai'in is not some sort of fantasy funland. Yeah, no, I figured that much when I learned that you guys instilled the death penalty on nine-year-old boys. 
It's true, I don't have any real grounds to make that assertion. And yet... Oh yeah, I feel another song coming on. A little number about a crazy lawyer with wild, fantastic idiocracies. The real method to open the lock, you say? Delusional man, that ain't no other way. Oh, Anuvers. Please, add it to your testimony, Mr. Understanden. The real method to open the lock, you say. Delusional man, there ain't no other way. Well, I'm just gonna have to find another way, aren't I? Delusional, am I? We'll see about that. Indeed! The defense's sinful wrongdoing has made him lose touch with reality. Sorry, listen, I gotta monitor my singing. Let's hear it! What'll it be? For this sinner's fight or fancy? No, sir, I'm not buying it. Nothing, because I'm not the delusional one here. I don't abide by religion. I just know there's gotta be some secret trick to opening the treasure box. Oh, really? And what exactly is this secret? Well, the secret's obviously hidden in... The box or the key? Uh-oh. <laughs> um... Alright, what do we know about the box and about the key? Um... The murder weapon, not even the Magatama key can open it. We know that she glows in the dark. We got a couple pictures of her. Okay. Um, do we have the key and evidence? We do. The sole key for opening the treasure box on and keeps it on his person at all times. Um, Song of Ceremony. The song about the Founder's Orb during sung during the Dance of Devotion includes an English translation. When dragon and tiger battle, the Founder offers divine protection. When the butterfly embraces the Matama- Oh! Wait a damn minute. When the butterfly embraces the Matama, the favor of the orb is bestowed- Okay, so ha hold on. This is the Matama- Oh, it's the Magatama key. Wait. Am I misremembering something? I thought it was maybe the Matama key. The box has a butterfly on it. You can see it in this picture. And I'll be talked about it. So... So that means something for us. So there's a butterfly on... Maybe the secret is the box. The treasure box has the secret. Yeah? And where on the box is this secret actually? Well, if I were to say, uh... If I were to say the butterfly... How does that sound to the court? It's the carvings! There's definitely something going on there. Are you sure? You're sounding a little desperate, Defense. Desperate? Does, does this voice sound desperate? Uh, not at all, Your Majesty. The carvings the accused snuck in to see. Even though it's forbidden, I might add. Witness. Can you tell us anything about the carvings on this box? Of course! As head monk, I know about all of them. The carvings depict a Koryanese butterfly as it carries a soul to the Twilight Realm. They were made in and around the 7th century. I see. Could you please add that statement to your testimony? Oh my god, wow, we are adding a lot to this testimony. It's Angela! Hello, y'all, and George! Mr. Content, glad to see you're playing this game. Thank you for popping into the chat, happy to have you here. Fine, listen up, lawyer trash. Alright, Kurianese butterfly from the 7th century carries the Matama, so elementary. Okay, so that matches the song lyrics. Maybe you have to sing to the box. Alright, but what do I do with this information? I don't know that I can present anything on it. Let me press it again. We're doing so much pressing. 
I believe this butterfly design conceals some sort of secret. Oh yeah? Why don't you check it out for yourself then? Huh? What's with the smug look on his face? You know, I think I'm gonna do exactly that. Your Majesty, if I could. Hmm. Nothing unusual here. Well, Defense, what have you discovered? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm afraid I haven't really discovered much of anything, Your Majesty. Here, I'll return it now. I told ya, didn't I? Ugh, I'm so over this man. I don't hate him as much as Jinxie, though, to be fair. Th then in that case, there's gotta be some secret to the key. Fuck! Are you telling me I was wrong? Ha! <laughs> now you're suspicious of the key, are ya? There's just no reasoning with this man. The accused forced the lock open. There's no other explanation. That's right. He desecrated the box by opening it without using this Matama key. Wait, what did he just say? He, he said Matama key. Listen, I'm not very good with words, I'm only a scientist. But guys, you gotta be consistent with me here. I got one thing in evidence telling me it's the Magatama key. I got one guy saying it's the Matama key. There's a reason I'm getting confused here, boys. Ah, oh, sing it as many times as I have to to get it through your thick lawyer skull. Only the Matama key unlocks the treasure. Force it and reap the founder's displeasure. For the forgetful defense's sake, could you please add it to your testimony? Oh, you like this little number better, do ya? Let's see. Should I have him swap in this statement? Yes, because now we at least have a contradiction, maybe? I believe the witness just made, or uh, saying a very important statement. I'd like it switched in with his testimony. Very well, witness, if you would. If I have to, carve it into your brain. Alright. I don't fully understand the the name sl s the slip up here. I, I, I honestly don't remember how we came to call it the Magatama Key. Unless he called it that earlier. But he switched up. He's calling it the Mitama Key. Now, Magatama and Mitama are very similar words. And I'm a foreign idiot who doesn't know much about the difference between either of these two things. But I do understand one thing, which is that they are not the exact same word. Which means, there's a contradiction here. Objection! Yeah, there is a contradiction here! Just a minute, Mr. Andestanden. You just called your key the Mitama Key, didn't you? Oh, ooh, we got him sweating. But didn't you originally call it the Magatama Key? Oh, ooh! Oh, no. It's like me with my violin that I tried to play. I broke the strings. The Matama Key! What's that? I don't really know, Your Majesty. But apparently... It's a rather crucial question. Uh, what's the big deal? So I said the wrong thing. So what? It's a simple slip of the tongue. An A for effort, Mr. Wright. But your ground standing betrays your desperation. I'm afraid a small slip of the tongue like that adds absolutely nothing to your argument. What say you, Defense? Is it an important detail? Judging by Andestanden's reaction... I'd say it's everything my argument needs. Yes, Your Majesty. It's very important. This key is apparently not the Magatama key, but rather, the Mitama key. And I believe this discrepancy holds great significance for the defense. Nah, man! Just a meaningless mistake! 
Insignificant! Hm. You're riding the crazy train to nowhere, lawyer man. Your Majesty, please don't pay the defense any heed. It's all nonsense. Hmm. To tell the truth, I'm not really clear on what the defense is driving at. However, I'm eager to find out. What? Defense. You will explain yourself. Like your life literally depends upon it. Because it in fact does. Now then. Is the name of the key an important detail? Yes. It's an absolutely important detail. I think. Because the Mitama key is connected to the Founder's Orb. I see. Very well. In that case. Please show the court the grounds on which you are basing this claim. The grounds, your Magistrate? You can, of course, show grounds, can you not, Defense? Of course I can! What else can I say? Um... Now I have to come up with something. Anything. Even if it's just a bluff. The Mitama key. Mitama. Hmm. There has to be something somewhere that ties Mitama and the orb together. Well, don't keep me awaiting, Defense. What evidence shows a connection between the Matama Key and the Founders Orb? That's this song, I think, right? Because we just read it. When the butterfly embraces the Matama, the favor of the orb is bestowed. I mean, it... It's a loose connection, but there's a song there, Your Honor. What's that? The Song of Ceremony. All this time, the answer was right in front of me. It's right there in the Song of Ceremony performed during the Dance of Devotion. It's the worst password protection system ever because they perform it in front of the entire audience of all of the Koreanese people, which is the secret to opening the box. Oh my god, this whole country. You're so backwards. Who's making the decisions here? Who's in charge of this place? I'd like to meet them. I've got, I've got words. Your Majesty, the Song of Ceremony tells of the treasure of the founder of Koreanism. But hidden within its lyrics is the secret behind how to really open the treasure box. Oh. Holy mother! <laughs> uh. But how can that be, Defense? The Song of Ceremony contains the following lyrics. When the butterfly embraces the Mitama, the favor of the orb is bestowed. I believe the Mitama here refers to the Mitama key. Well, yes, it is the same word. But that doesn't mean... We've been calling this key the Magatama Key. And that's why I inserted the key into the lock with the Magatama design on it. But that's obviously not the right way to use it. You silly goose. And I suppose you know the right way to use it. Oh, I do now, Your Majesty. To use this key properly, you first have to... Flip it vertically, flip it horizontally. Um... What? <laughs> Wait... You've lost me, game. Flip it vertically or horizontally? Well... Obviously... The answer is... I mean, I guess... I guess vertically, you you want to invert it so that it's face so it's upside down. So is that the difference? A magat because we have a magatama. We have our magic rock, which looks like this. It looks like a nine. A mitama, which I guess is the spirit, looks like a six. Is it on the box? Oh well, wait a damn minute. Hang on. L let me follow this logic. If we turn the Magatama shape upside down like this... Yeah, now it looks like my health bars. It becomes the Kurayanese symbol of the soul. In other words, a Mitama. So Mitama is soul, Kurayanese soul. What does Magatama represent exactly again? 
Oh my! You're absolutely right. But, what do you do with it? It's too big to fit into the lock that way. Oh, um... <laughs> I knew he was just bluffing. Bluffs and lies are the only tools of his trade, after all. There's gotta be some other place this key fits, but where? Let's see... What were the words to the Song of Ceremony? It was something about a butterfly. Look for a hole in the butterfly and then just jam, jam it right in there. When the butterfly embraces the Mitama, the favor of the orb is bestowed. Where should the Mitama key actually be used? Oh, great. I can find it. Don't you guys worry. Um, there's a flower. There's the butterfly. That's the only butterfly also. So if we zoom in... Now, where can I put it in the butterfly, is the question. I don't really see a hole. Maybe... well... but... I... How do I... Oh, 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 no, how do I... Nope, that's not... There's something I'm trying to... Okay, let's turn it around like this, and... Oh! <laughs> I see it. <laughs> George, you need glasses. I, well, you're not wrong. I need to talk to my eye doctor at some point. I, I see her. It's a puzzle piece. But is that really gonna work? Is that where the key's gonna fit? Okay, oh. Oh, I also have my hand. Alright, right here! Guys, I was looking at the butterfly, okay? Give me- oh, oh, whoa! 3D animation, hot shit there. <laughs> oh my god, Phoenix's face. Oh! My goodness! A treasure box! It really opened! No way, man! What? No! And that, ladies and gentlemen, that's the real secret behind the Song of Ceremony. It's the true key to opening the treasure box! What a bad security system. It's all over, Mr. Payne. So, let's say someone was fooled into trying to force the front-facing lock open. Sadly for them, it's not gonna budge. That's because the lock is, after all, just a decoy. Then what you're saying is... Neither the victim nor the defendant would have been able to open the box. They therefore had no way of stealing the treasure inside. The only one who could have stolen it is the one man who knew about the Mitama key. Peas a love and understand it! But I'm not done yet! Please recall the scene of the crime. On the floor by Mr. Roll's body. That was where the very unlocked and very open treasure box lie. Only someone who knew how to open the box could have left it in that state. <laughs> I'm coming for blood and I'm leaving no victims! I mean, no mercy. And so, there can only be one true culprit. Admit it, Mr. Understanding! You're the one who killed Mr. Roll! God, I love Phoenix's character model. I, uh... Ah! Oh, ooh, yikes. Oh, God. I wonder when I'm gonna get uh, evicted from my building. It just keeps going. Whoa, whoa, okay, listen, are you... He's got all the temper of a heterosexual man. Uh, 
<laughs> Cuckoo! Guys! I think we just prosecuted Jesus. Curse him! It's all his fault! Why do you have to try and steal the treasure? Why do I have to spot him with that box? On my way to the storeroom. After the morning dance. Is his fault I had to cause that blackout and clock him good? Uh, your majesty, that sounds like a confession to me. I couldn't let my secret get out. Nobody can know the treasure box was empty. I lose my position as head monk. Who knows what else they'd do to me? I couldn't. I had to... I had to stop him. Huh. What a shocking development. I can scarcely believe it. Nothing like this has ever happened since the DC Act was enacted 23 years ago. record destroyed the incredible pain ah! oh look what a cute shot of you oh <gasps> bald he's bald bald the entire audience is shocked because he's bald oh my god he's a fraud did the lawyer really win oh i can't believe it no way this can't be happening I said peace. Well, honestly speaking, I'm just as shocked as everyone else. But the truth has been made known. So it's time for me to give my verdict. In the name of the Holy Mother, this court finds the accused. I'll be your guide. Not guilty, boys! Do I get confetti? You would not believe your eyes If ten million buyers but for Oh fuck, that's a firefly sound <laughs> Oh, you sad, sorry excuse of a man Imagine having no hair Wow, that was remarkably beautiful and low-key Compared to the confetti we do back home You guys could learn something about Japanifornia, I think all right, April 24th, 1.36 p.m. at the High Court of kurai In in the Accused Lobby. Oh, oh, wow, it's loud out here. Huh, wow, there's quite a commotion going on out here. The people in the gallery show no sign of clearing out. Well, I can't believe it, not guilty. No, I'm still in shock, can you believe that guy? I can feel everyone's eyes on me. Is this what it's like to be Popular? This can't be happening. It's impossible. Oh, holy mother, preserve us! I've never been in a defendant lobby quite this uncomfortable. Someone told me that the butterflies were symbolic of the soul finding peace. Oh, that kind of makes sense. It comes from the pool of souls. Mr. Wright! Oh, Albie, what's up? Thank you! Thank you so much for what you did to me! I mean, for me! Whoops! Slip of the tongue there! I'm just glad it turned out alright. It was a little bit, uh, touch and go there for a while. I'm really sorry, Mr. Wright! I... I had a really hard time trusting you at first. Hey, that's okay, Albie. I'm literally a stranger to you and a grown adult man. You're not really supposed to blindly trust people like me. And I know how unpopular lawyers are in this country. But, how did it ever get this way in the first place? Allow me to explain. At least, I wish I could explain. But, I don't really know why. I never even questioned it before today. By the time I was born, 
Oh, the lawyers were already gone! Right, 23 years ago, you're a bit late to the party, eh? As far back as I can remember, the verdicts have been passed on her benevolence as insights! Oh my god, look at how cute his puppy is! Right, Raytha, the royal priestess. You would imply that the trials of this country are unfair? Do explain, outsider! How verdicts founded on truths imparted by the very souls of the dead lack impartiality. For her part, I'm sure she really believes in what she says, but... Even with her benevolence's divination seances, lawyers are still necessary. I mean, it's my job, I gotta get paid. I can't take every case pro bono like this. Without proper defense, people could easily wind up receiving wrongful convictions. Mr. Wright! Shh. What? Don't say that so loud! People might think you're a rebel! You could be arrested! What? A rebel? That's right! One of those people going against our queen, and the course- Ah, you have a queen. I figures this backwards-ass country would be run by a monarch. Um... Interesting. Oh! Oh. They call themselves the Defiant Dragons. And they're led by a scary guy named Dirk. They'll do anything to overthrow her eminence, even commit crimes. Oh, we're getting deeply political. Rebels versus the government. Dirk. Funny. People in the gallery mentioned that name. Oh yeah, they did very briefly. That slipped right over my head. Also, what a sick beat. The things that you're saying, it sounds a lot like the stuff that the rebels say. But you're not scary like that dirt guy. Oh man, I, uh, I'm the bad guy. Pardon the intrusion. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Wrong voice, wow. Are you married to the queen? <laughs> you look proper. Um, I, I, would, I would say chief prosecutor. You can't be a lawyer because we don't have those anymore. But Winston Payne, is, I mean, Gaspin Payne is the chief prosecutor. I like your cigar. You. Yeah, you. I want to talk to you, she. Flight, is it? Uh, uh, no, it's... It, Right, Daddy. Uh, sir, 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 Daddy, sir. D sorry, Daddy. Sorry. Uh, Phoenix Wright is my name. Uh, who are you? I'm the Karayanese Minister of Justice. The name's Inga Karkul Kurian. I oversee the whole legal shebang. I was watching that Three Rings Circus in there. You were? Wow. The Minister of Justice. So what does that mean? Is he like the head judge? Maybe? So he's in charge of the entire court system. Defense Culpability Act and all. So the head of all the courts. Interesting. M Minister Inga! How are you, Daddy? Run along, Mini Monk! Grown-ups are talking here! Uh, yes, sir! Very sorry, sir! M may I help you with something? Just wanted a good look at ya. <laughs> Guys like you aren't exactly a dime a dozen around here. Sorry, I have to, f I have to figure out this man's voice. Dime a dozen around here. No, he, he's got he's got to be intimidating. All right, head of the courts. This guy reeks final boss energy. Heh. <laughs> well, then. he's eyeing me like I'm some kind of exotic creature in a cage. Do you think he wants to take me home? Oh yeah, I might as well share this little morsel with you. Turns out Roll was a seasoned thief. A repeat offender, see. Had my men look into it. 
They found all the booty pifled right here under its digs. But he seems like such a nice man. Why was Mr. Roll play a pilfering booty? <laughs> I guess he was in it for the family. What a mook. A uh, uh, mook? How can you say that? Hmph. <laughs> guess that kind of sob story gets your common folk all misty-eyed. Anyway, another thing. I had my men check out that understanding fella too. He wasn't the one with the sticky fingers. It's the insurgents. I'm sorry, what? What? They put the squeeze on our head monk, apparently, so he gave up the Founder's Orb and tried to keep it hush-hush. Wow. I see. The insurgents stole the orb. Uh, thank you for letting me know. Yeah. Say what? That was a cute little, uh, number you pulled in my courtroom today. Wasn't it? First not guilty ruling in 23 years. You're making waves, boy. Stir in the pot. You catch my drift? Oh, well, I, uh... I, uh... uh maybe I'm in it now. Hm. But thanks to that song and dance, we know our precious national treasure got nicked. So I'll call it a wash. Let it slide this time. But all I did was defend the accused. Look, you do best to read between the lines here, chump. You're standing on thin ice. Catch my drift. Even a dirty no good punk knows how to catch in his chips before the house steps in. I'm being threatened, but I'm oddly turned on. Do us both a favor. Keep an eye on the path you're walking down. You never know whose toes you might be stepping on. This ain't your turf, buddy. Never forget those soil it is that you're standing on. Yikes! He was kind of scary, wasn't he? Yeah. Well, uh, there's really no use worrying about it now. We have more important things to think about. Such as, when can we continue our uh, sightseeing tour? Oh, tour! Anytime, sir! We still have plenty of time until Miss Maya's training ends. And there's still lots more temples to see, all kinds of local foods to eat. I can show you the natural beauty of the area, and the waterfalls used for training. Oh, and I haven't even shown you the breathtaking mountain view from the Plaza of Devotion yet. And there's this place where they really indulge you in really great sheep. And there's a great view of the Twilight Realm, right where you ride the sheep. All right, all right, slow down, my boy. I'll be. There's plenty of time. And when we're done with all that, we can go see Mystic Maya together. Yeah, right. You bet. Maya. I wonder how she's doing. I hope she's okay. We all hope she's okay. Interesting. So we are really, uh, in a dicey situ- Oh! Dicey so, situation. So, how about that not guilty, jerk? Oh! I heard. Sounds like the winds of change are beginning to stir. <laughs> Bro, what was that? <gasps> and... Ooh, that's intimidating as all hell. Yikes, a new episode has been added. The magical turnabout. Guys, also, I can't help but notice that that took longer than 15 minutes. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. Daddy Dirk? Daddy Dirk, for sure. All right, so 
It did take longer than 15 minutes. However, I will give you a little bit of credit and say that we're only at an hour. So this is kind of a short stream. I have to make a judgment call. We have to make a judgment call, chat. Do you want to start the next case? Just get it kind of opened up a little bit and then close out early without really getting a whole lot done today? Or do you want to call it a night? I can go get dinner. And do you want to start the case tomorrow? <laughs> Dog face. Please don't reprimand us. Time has never been our strong point. <laughs> um, start the next case. Check out Elements of Justice. I, I saw that in the chat earlier. You guys said something about checking out a, a, a song where, like, the Ace Attorney characters sing Disney songs. That sounds like it could get me in trouble with copyright, so I might have to pass on that. I don't know. Uh, do the opening of the case. Start the opening of the magical act. Yeah, we can start We can start the opening. I, I'm cool playing. We, we won't do a lot today. Like I said, we can... We can get our bearings, we'll open up the magical turnabout, we'll learn what it's about, what's going on. <laughs> this whole country is nothing but magic. I wonder how uh, the rest of our cast is going to come into play. And um, once we kind of get it opened up a little bit, we can just kind of get our feet on the ground and close out and then probably... Hope, I'm, I'm hoping that this next one will start with an investigation segment so that will be chill and we won't immediately be in court. Let's see. Overrate the save game. Cool deal. Episode 2, The Magical Turnabout. That also, for the record, real quick. It goes without saying that this... Holy shit, this was long. This was... Uh, this had to have, without, beyond a shadow of a doubt, had to be the longest tutorial case in all of the Ace Attorney games. It took us two and a half streams. That's about five hours to do just the tutorial. I mean, it was a good fully fledged case. And to be fair, there was a lot to introduce. We had to be introduced to the divination se seance. We had to be introduced to new characters like Princess Rafa. We had to be introduced to this political intrigue about Dirk and the rebels and everything that's going on. So th there was a lot to unpack there. It was a good case, but damn. Oh! What in Alice in Wonderland? <gasps> Trucy? What, girl, what the fuck are you doing? Are you on a TV? Oh, whoa. Mask to mask? Huh? The magic tra Oh, God. Hey, that's my daughter! Ah! We're getting some trucy love! The magical turnabout! Oh, no way! Alright. Regardless, though, what the fuck was that? Oh! Guys, I see him in the lower corner. We're, we're Apollo Justice. April 27th, 10 o'clock a.m., Penrose Theater, stage. And that's how the evil magician, Mr. Rius, got caught. <laughs> oh my god, she's doing a show. See you for act two, everybody. So are we- <gasps> Bravo! Bravo, Trucy! Whoa, Athena! She's looking good. Her hair looks a little bit darker, does it not? Am I making this up? Yeah, it, it's a good look for her. It, it, I feel like it looked a little bit more orange in Dual Destinies. Also, fun music. So we're back in- Are we back in the States, I presume? That's kind of a funny dynamic. So, Daddy Nick is off in Kurai-in doing Kurai-in cases, but then Apollo and Athena are going to be back here stateside? Are we going to be back in the regular court system? 
Oh, Athena, sweetheart, how have you been? It's been a minute. Brava! Brava, Trucy! Wow, Apollo! Wasn't that a great trick? You bet! I've never seen such a great magic act. Did you know they even featured Trucy's show on TV this morning? Penrose Theater, a well-known gateway, getaway, or gateway to success for entertainers. Ah, is it like VidCon? Look at all of the illusions. We've got the impossible triangle. We've got the cube coming out of the Penrose building. Oh, and Trucy, she's got a poster. Oh God, look at the clock. <laughs> wow, what a cool place here in japan -ifornia. It's here, at this famous theater, that we're finally gonna get to see! Trucy and Grammarai land- Gram- Oh, chat, you guys have to refresh my memory. Was it Grammarai or Grammary? You guys, I- we, we had this debate in Apollo Justice, and then we didn't really touch their last name, so I forgot. Refresh my- my brain. Trucy writes, Trucy and Grammarai land. The long-awaited revival of the magic troop Grammarai. Or re, it's yet to be decided. Wow, that explains why there's a TV crew here to cover the show. Grammarai, oh, okay. God, Queen Trucy, Grammarai, Grammarai. Okay, got it, chat. Um, wow. So, as usual, Trucy's the real breadwinner. She's making all the big bucks, so that us lawyers can just not get paid anything. This is the perfect opportunity to promote the Write Anything Agency, too. After all, people look up things they see on TV, right? But wouldn't they be looking up the talent part, and not the part of our agency? Oh, Mamma Mia, you're right. We'd get nothing but requests for Trucy's fans, wouldn't we? Oh, well. I guess we'll have to make it the old-fashioned way. My name's Apollo Justice. I'm a rookie lawyer, with only about two years of experience under my belt. Oh, Apollo, don't be so modest. You've got a hell of a lot of experience in those two years. We're here to see Trucy's magic show. She's a fellow member of our agency. We came on behalf of our boss, Mr. Wright, while he's away on a trip. Ah, there it is. Dave Abler, hello, welcome to the chat. Ooh, and did you hear Apollo? Even though it's only her debut, her shows are completely sold out. What? Really? I hope they're not being sold on Ticketmaster, otherwise we might get some backlash. But that's amazing! Voila! A star is born! Who knows how far she'll go! At this rate, nothing in the world can stop us! <laughs> uh... You realize this has nothing to do with you, right? I was gonna say. That humble, just let me slide into my successful friend's life and uh, profit off of them. This is Athena Sykes. She's another member of our agency. She may not look it, but at just 19 years old, she's a lawyer as well. Guys, I'm feeling good about this as a case. Um... We got Apollo, and Athena, and Trucy all roped in together. All of our MVPs? What could go wrong in a case like this? What do you mean she may not look it? Of course I look the part! Care to explain how exactly? Uh, come on, Apollo! Have a heart! Stop treating me like a child! That gadget around Athena's neck that spoke just now? That's Widget. Widget helps Athena out with her special fields of expertise. Analytical psychology. He also has a habit of blurting out whatever Athena's really thinking. Yeah, this little guy can be a little unruly at times. Hey, upgrade me already. Oh. Your attention, please. The show will restart after a 20-minute intermission. We ask that you please be back in your seats before the next act. Thank you. Hey, why don't we go say hi to Trucy in her dressing room during the break? Oh, yes! Let's go see the big star. I'm so nervous. What should I say to her? 
Well, I guess whatever you usually say to- Alright, Athena, you're at an 11. Let's bring it down to an Edgeworth. Yeah, I'm gonna keep saying it till it, it becomes a thing. Uh, wow, look at this place. Props and everything. April 27th, Penrose Theater dressing room. Oh, she's got a prop bunny! I think that's a bunny, right? Yeah, let's not show PETA. So, this is Trucy's dressing room. It looks like she's busy over there with someone. Could you sign this please, ma'am? A sure thing. Just the one sheet and this clipboard, right? Whoa, 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 Trucy, what are you signing exactly? Let's be careful. Did you read that document? We're lawyers here. A fan? Asking for Trucy's autograph, maybe? I don't think so. It looks like some kind of contract. Thank you very much. I'll get this to the producer right away. Great, thanks. Oh! Polly! Athena! You guys came! Of course! Congratulations on your big debut! <laughs> thanks. Um, who was that just now? Oh, somebody from Take Two TV. They want to turn my magic into a TV special. They're planning to broadcast it nationwide. <laughs> Can you imagine? Wow. You really are a big star. Hey! Can I get your autograph later, later Trucy? Sure. My signature's in high demand today. Would you like one too, Polly? Uh... Yeah, actually, I would. Oops! Looks like you ran out of flyers, so I'll have to sign your forehead instead. Hey, knock it off! Look, just forget about the autograph. This is Trucy Wright. She's a magician. And she's also Mr. Wright's adopted daughter. She's becoming uh, quite renowned in the magic world these days for her impressive skills. A lot of people get this wrong, but... Apollo's actual job is being my magic assistant. Uh, what? No, you're the one getting things wrong. Wow, she's, re she's really come a long way from the days of the magic panties at the Wonder Bar. This is great. Ooh! Do you think I could try that trick you always do at the office for me, Trucy? Okay. Behold, the wondrous magic that can make anything disappear. Ah! Ha ha ha! Panties! Ta-da! My magic panties are an extra-dimensional galaxy! Brava, Trucy! Brava! Okay, but... Why do you always have to make my attorney's badge disappear into your panties? Well, that's because out of everyone at the Right Anything Agency, you're the one I get the best reaction out of. That doesn't make my poor badge feel any better. Oh. Trucy, talk to me about this show. Thanks again for inviting us, Trucy. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Your show sure packs a wallop. I nearly fell out of my seat when that dragon showed up. I mean, it still does look very cool for a stage show, but it doesn't look nearly as cool as what we saw in the opening. And when it attacked you? Phew! I was terrified. Even though I knew it was all just a part of the show. Well, that's good. Because that trick is the crowning glory of Act One. I'm really glad you're enjoying the show. I heard your shows are completely sold out, Trucy. They say your fans were all over the tickets the instant they became available. Like hungry wolves going after their prey. Sounds like you've made a loyal pack of followers for yourself, Trucy. But you two are the only ones who got a special VIP invitation from me. Today's just a dress rehearsal for the performers, staff, family, and friends. Oh, it's a pre-show. A general probe, huh? That's what they call it in Germany. The real show isn't until the day after tomorrow. I forgot that Athena is cultured. She spent her time in Europe studying law. By the way, are you gonna finally do your magic panties trick on stage after the break? Oh, oh, she, she hasn't given that one up, eh? I'm sorry to disappoint anyone who just came to see my panties, but my next trick is completely new. I'm debuting it today. Ooh! A new trick, huh? Are you gonna chop Apollo up into little lawyer bits? 
Um, I don't recall ever agreeing to anything like that. Hmm. Well, that does sound like a good idea. Today's trick is a totally new troop Grammaria fish Grammaria fish of uh, uh, original. Oh, jeez, man, that name really fucks me up. It's really embarrassing because it's my own last name. The entire future of the troop is riding on the success of this special new trick. How so? This show is really important to me. It isn't like any of the other shows I've done. As the rightful heir to Troop Grammarie, Repertoire of Magic, this show is my first chance to unveil the tricks I've inherited. Troop Grammarie, huh? Yeah, I have a poster of them hanging right over there. There's Zack, there's Valent, there's Lamy Wa. And uh, what was the what was his name again? The guy that was the head honcho of it all. Also, who's this fourth person? What? Um, but we've got Magnifi, Zack, Valent, Lamiwar, and then one more. <laughs> it feels like it's been ages since I've seen a picture of them. Troop Grammary was a group of magicians who dominated the magic world in their day. Trucy is the sole heir to the troop's entire repertoire of stage magic. Yeah, because both of the men are dead. Lamiwar lost her memory, but then gained it back, but I think she gave up magic because she's more about living that Hannah Montana life, being a pop star now. And then, who's this guy in green and purple on the left? Oh, that's the great Mr. Rias, the other magician in today's show. He used to belong to Troop Grammary too, a long time ago. Hey, so tell us more about this special magic you're going to reveal today. It's a secret troop grammary trick. Left behind by my great granddaddy, Magnifi Grammary. It's never been performed before, so this is the first time it's gonna be seen by the public. Ah, the grand's unveiling, huh? No wonder she's been working so hard. Well, I better get going. Huh? Where to? To practice my act, of course. The show's only a few days away. You're really pushing yourself. Didn't you practice until late last night? Yep, because everything's gotta be just right. Trucy inherited all of Troop Grammarie's magic tricks from her father when he died. And the troop's entire legacy is now resting on her shoulders. No wonder she's feeling the pressure. God, everybody's a fucking orphan in these games. It looks like everything's going well today, though. I mean, that last trick was perfect. Grace under pressure. That's me. After all, a true entertainer always keeps a smile on their face. That's the troop's Grammarie Creed. It's also the lawyer creed from Phoenix that he got passed down from Mia. Funny how that works out. It's almost like smiling is just the secret to a successful and happy life. It's hard to believe you've accomplished so much, even though you're still in high school. Uh-oh. Boys! She's 17, which means you gotta wait one more year, you perverts. But Athena, on the other hand, she's fair game. Also, Daddy Nick 35, killing it at 35. It gives me hope that I can still look good at 35. <laughs> but to tell you the truth, I'm actually pretty nervous. Well, who wouldn't be? Oh, I bet this would do the trick. You'll be fine, Trucy! If anybody can do it, you can! Polly! That was just the boost I needed. Thanks! Apollo's fine, sure has a way of really hitting you right in the face, and in the ears, and in the heart of your bottom. Hey! Enough ragging on my voice already. Trucy! Oh! Hi, Bonnie! My, oh! It's almost time for the second act! Oh, okay, thanks. Well, Apollo, Athena, enjoy the rest of the show, okay? Right, uh, break a leg, Trucy. Uh, thanks, I will. Uh, when, when Trucy says she's gonna break a leg, I get like this nervous feeling that like, a leg is gonna be broken in act two of this show. I hope her new trick goes well. 
Hey, this is Trucy we're talking about. Oh, I wouldn't be so sure. Huh? Oh. Performing magic is like walking a tightrope. There's always an element of danger. One little mistake can even cost you your life, you know. I wonder if she'll make it across today. Ew, oh god, why do you say- why do you talk like that? Why are you so creepy? Um... What do you mean by that? <laughs> oh, nothing. Now, if you'll excuse me... She's gone! What was that all about? Chad, I dislike this bunny. Judging by what she said, I'm gonna guess she's probably a magician too. Come on, Apollo! We gotta get back to our seats or we're gonna be late. Uh, hey, stop pulling me! Okay, let's see. I guess it's time to move back to the stage. Alright, yeah, let's at least see the rest of the show. I mean, I figure we could at least play till somebody dies. <laughs> I I'm assuming someone's gonna die because ev even when we had Ace Attorney cases where I thought there wouldn't be death, there ended up being death. April 27th, Penrose Theater, stage. Hurry up, Apollo! It's about to start! I'm gonna see what Trucy's next trick is. You're really wound up today, aren't you? Why don't you just take your seat and try to relax? <laughs> Look! There's a TV recorder over there! With a TV camera on everything! Oh yeah, baby! Athena, sit down! You're blocking people! Ugh, I feel like I'm babysitting here. Hello everyone, Heather Jasper Howe here, reporting from the beautiful Penrose Theater, where the public performance of Trucy and Grammarie Land begins in just two short days. But today, they have very kindly agreed to give us a sneak preview. Isn't this exciting? Apollo, do you think I was on TV just now? How should I know? But if you were, we're disgracing our entire agency, that's for sure. Button up your shirt. Hey! What is that supposed to mean? It's starting! Oh, here it comes. Now, give up oh. your dastardly ways! Oh. <laughs> Oh, I I get bad vibes from this girl. Oh, <gasps> Mr. Hat, is that you? Come now, Mr. Hat. Offer the girl's life up to Mr. Rius and bring him back to life. Uh, uh, oh, look at that. Oh. What? What? Just oh my god, Apollo's so cute. Switch? You won't be reviving anyone today. Wow, that transform Uh oh. Oh no. Listen, if this was a regular magic show, I'd think this is dope. But as a lawyer who only defends people for murder, watching my love Trucy, well, my daughter Trucy, just stab into that dark box. Has me nervous. Wow! That was amazing! I have no idea how she escaped the coffin! I'm glad her escape trick went off without a hitch. What's in the box? What's in the box? And when I open the coffin, like this, inside you're gonna see... <laughs> Mr. Rius? Mysterious! Got the pun. Dope ass name. Sorry that you died. But how? I wonder what's going on. He's. He's not getting up. Ah! Trucy? Oh, oh! Holy. What? Well, this escalated. What just happened? Oh man, an accident! Is like that guy dead? Zoink Scoob! Wait, that's not part of the act? 
Attention, please. For your own safety, we just ask that everyone please evacuate the building immediately. What's going on? Is Trucy okay? Outside, everyone, evacuate immediately. Please, like your life depends upon it. Whoa, hey, hey, stop grabbing at me. Trucy! Well, that seems like the cliffhanger that we just needed for this case. <laughs> oh no! Amid all the chaos, I think that's where we'll call it a day for today. We, we've set the scene. I said we'd play till someone died and someone has died. So, hopefully, your interest is piqued to see what in the world is about to happen next when we go back to this case tomorrow at 7 o'clock Eastern Time as we open in the investigation into what in the world just happened to Mr. Rias in Trucy's Magic Show. Well, she sure broke a leg now. <laughs> um, yes, honestly. Um, what am I planning to play after the Ace Attorney games finish up? Should I play the Mass Effect games? Maybe. I don't really have much of a plan. I'd have to look into that. I don't really know much about what Mass Effect is, so I'd have to figure out what exactly that game's all about. All right, if you want to let me know, you can let me know in the Discord linked below. I'm going to go try and get some food into my belly, and I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, thank you guys for hanging out with me. Toodles, boys! Oh, please leave a like on the stream. It helps greatly. Toodles, boys!